We're in Portsmouth, uh, and if you had been here 75 years ago, this whole area would have been covered in landing crafts and thousands and thousands of people waiting to board those ships to cross the English Channel to try and storm those beaches, push back Hitler's armies who had taken over Europe. Uh, this was the beginning of the end of Nazism. It was what started um, the end of that evil empire. And by the end of the fifth day, over 350,000 soldiers had made that crossing. Uh, this ceremony has been at, at both times emotional emotional and also uplifting. We've seen some of the veterans walk out onto stage, tell their stories of what it was like charging those beaches. And remember, if you had been 18 back then, you would be 93 today, and there are not many of them left. Today's ceremony is commemorating about 300 of them, and President Trump is uh, due to meet them shortly, uh, both to hear their stories, but also to thank them. And I say uplifting because this is about countries coming together in the face of evil. And you hear about so many nations that came here. Uh, and it's also about faith. And President Trump read out a prayer which President Roosevelt read to the US on the eve of D-Day. Uh, it was the first time that they had heard about the Normandy invasion. Uh, and here's a little bit from that prayer. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization, and to set free a suffering humanity. Yeah, and of course, you can't understate the U.S. involvement in this. There were six beaches which were stormed. The U.S. was responsible for two of them, Omaha and Utah. And those are both names which have gone down in history. In fact, it was at Omaha Beach uh, where the most casualties were lost. And uh, it's believed that the 1st and the 29th Divisions suffered 2,000 casualties uh, on Omaha Beach uh, that day. Uh, we have leaders from across the world here, from the U.K., France, Canada, Australia, 10 other um, allied countries as well as President Trump. But I, I think the real heroes really have to be the veterans, the ones who lay down their lives in many cases to free Europe, to free the world from tyranny. And that's what's being remembered uh, back here. It's been an incredibly emotional day so far.